Welcome back, everybody, to another Diacon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today we're going to be reacting to the Rolling Stones' Sympathy for the Devil, which is a very interesting name for a song. But we haven't done Rolling Stones in quite a while, um, and I really liked their songs, and I've actually listened to Paint It Black like a million times, so, like, since reacting to it, because it's, it's a really, really good song. Um, I see a red door and I want it painted black. Yeah, I, I just really like that song. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're here. We're back with more. And uh, thank you for joining me. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Daniel. Here we react to music and I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally. And yeah, we just have fun reacting to some great music. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing to the channel at the end of every video where you do research on the songs that we're listening to. So in this case, we're going to be looking at the lyrics, and then we're going to, I've got song facts, which often has some good information, or pertinent information. Um, this is the lyric video, similar to what we did for, I think, both the other songs by the Rolling Stones we've done. They've all had these cool lyric videos. Oh, official lyric video. Okay, so they were made by, I guess, the production company? Anyway, so let's begin. Three, two, one. Sorry, but this is a very interesting concept for a song. Let's keep going. You is the nature of my game. Love the bass line. Stuck around St. Petersburg when I saw it was a time for a change. Killed the saw and its ministers. Anastasia screamed in vain. I think 
I have, yeah. I've mentioned before I'm a Christian. Just kidding. I mean, well, not just kidding, but um, yeah. Okay, so it's very interesting because um, the main character in this is, uh, and obviously, again, like I just mentioned, I am a Christian. So when I'm hearing the devil supposedly talking to me, and he's like, "Have some sympathy," you know, or not, not, not that line specifically, but like other lines, like. Um, Show some courtesy. I'm a man of taste. I was there when I when this happened and that happened, and I'm trying to mess everybody up and confuse everybody. Look at me. What's my name? Let's play a game, you know. Um, and I'm like, okay, so he's it's like the deceiver, right? Um, so yeah, that's what the majority of the lyrics sounded like. It's someone trying to convince you one thing, but no you know um very interesting lyric like so i've mentioned before uh that my family mostly only let me listen to uh christian music until i was a little bit older and then my dad started playing me like metal music okay so that was the majority of my musical knowledge is contemporary christian music um i've said that before uh but there's something that certain Christian artists do, which, I don't know, just annoys me kind of every time they do it, where they write a song from the perspective of God, and then they sing it as if they're supposed to be God. Like, I understand why, but it's still it's still a weird concept to me. And this is like the reverse of that. He, he wrote a song from the perspective of the devil, and... Just like anybody, I'm sure the devil, or, you know, whatever you would want to consider evil to be, most pe in fact, if you're, not a, if you're not religious, you can just apply it to 
anyone who is evil. Evil people or people with ill intent, most of them do not think they're the bad guys. And that's kind of the case for pretty much anybody who does most bad things. You're going to have some type of excuse. They have some excuse or justification for it. Um, or a lot of people have this kind of... And I don't know this from experience. I know this from movies and books. You know, like I've never actually witnessed this. But it seems like a lot of people who end up being super evil had someone else be super bad to them. And then they're trying to like continue it or do it to someone else, you know. Um, and then if you try to analyze that psychologically, it's almost like they're... They, feel like they're alone in their abuse so they want to abuse someone else to make sure someone else feels their pain or something there's all these weird weird backwards um rationalizations for stuff so to me that's kind of what this song seemed like it was i'm wondering so uh i liked it i i did like it uh, i like the bass line in the background was really good um, like every song, his voice is very unique. It's very interesting to me. Um, like I said, the subject matter is pretty. It's a pretty unique idea for a song. Um, uh, what else? Uh, I'm wondering, did they play this as like a single on the radio? I wonder if that. I'll, I'll bet this song got the, got people up in arms. Let me see. Are there any comments underneath this? <laughs> Someone writes. Woo-hoo! Yeah. After what I've been through, I have no sympathy for the devil. Hmm. Okay, way too many people commenting about a video game. It's so annoying when that happens. I mean, I guess it's not really that annoying. I've done it before, actually. Um, when uh, a Styx song was in a song that was in the show uh, the umbrella academy and i saw someone comment under the song saying who heard this in the umbrella academy and i was like oh i, I referenced the show but it's still annoying to me a lot of times when i see uh, i guess that's me being hypoc a hypocrite i don't like that but still it still sometimes is annoying especially when there's like a million comments so all of the top comments on here are talking about i think a call of duty game which is, you know, whatever. Um, someone writes, man, that wall looks dirty as hell. It's almost like we need to paint it black. <laughs> um, the, chrono the, chron the chronology is... Another one bites the dust. Stairway to heaven, knocking on heaven's door... Locked out of heaven, losing my religion, hell's bells, highway to hell, sympathy for the devil, hell ain't a bad place to be, shout at the devil, the end. It's kind of funny, actually, so wait. Another one bites the dust is Queen, and I've definitely heard that one before. Um, so you die, then stairway to heaven. Who sings Knocking on Heaven's Door? It was a song I learned on the guitar fairly early on. I don't know if I've ever actually listened to this song, though. It's been covered by multiple people. Then I don't know anything until Highway to Hell and Hell's Bells, I think. are those? That's both ACDC. And I don't know the other two either. Shout at the Devil sounds familiar too, actually. But I don't know who sings it. Anyway, okay. Um, What does it profit a man that he gain the whole world but lose his immortal soul? Yep. Song talking about the decaying of humanity. Everyone else. Woo woo! <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the lyrics. Please allow me to intro and I remember the lyrics were a little bit repetitive near the end, but please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. I've been around for a long, long year, stole many a man's soul and faith. I was around when Jesus Christ had his moment of doubt and pain, made damn sure that Pilate washed his hands and sealed his fate. 
Pleased to meet you. Hope you guessed my name, but what's puzzling you is the nature of my game. I stuck around St. Petersburg, so he started back, and he's talking about Yeshua, right? Then he comes forward, and he's talking about St. Petersburg and the Tsar and Anastasia. Then you move forward more, and he's talking about the Kennedys, right? Yeah. So he's, you know, saying that he was there for all of these things, and I'm laying the traps for troubadours who got killed before they uh, reach Bombay. Uh... This line possibly refers to the notorious thuggy cult who worship Kali, the Hindu god of death. Or, sorry, goddess, not god. Um, yeah. All right. And then he says, "Confuse." Uh, what's confusing you is my game. Just as every cop is a criminal. So here's the, you know, the trying to make the good bad and the bad good thing. As every cop is a criminal and all the sinner saints, although... That's uh, what I just said is more moral, you know, like what I uh, the good and the bad thing is normally for morals, right? And you're like, we're making this thing that's supposed to be bad seem like it's a good thing or an okay thing. In this case, there are many cops who are, um, you know, probably not worthy of the position that they have. And there are many people that others claim are sinners that are saints, so... And heads is, as heads as tails, just call me Lucifer. It's so interesting to me that Lucifer, angel of light, right? Because I'm in need of some restraint. So if you meet me, have some courtesy, have some sympathy and some taste. Use all your well-learned politeness, or I'll lay your soul to waste. Repeat of the chorus, chorus, chorus. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the... Oh, wait. Uh, what did the devil cause after... This song is sung in first-person form with Mick Jagger playing no one but Satan himself. He documents events through history that could be seen as works of the devil. The Rolling Stones took some serious heat for singing a song from the devil's perspective, but the point of the song is more about the flaws in mankind. Yeah, he says the, the problem was you and me, but we're going to point our fingers at everything else. There's, a, there's an animated movie called Meet the Robinsons where the main character is a bad guy who somehow comes to the conclusion that his horrible life is somehow other people another person's fault so then there's this one scene in the movie where he says that was it's very on the nose what he says he's like hmm let's think take responsibility for my own life or blame you ding 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 blame you wins hands down yeah so i've seen that movie too many times and can quote way too much of it but um yeah, so that's the exact thing, is, you know, that's that's what the song says back here when he's like, who caused that? You and me. But I'm the one who's trying to say, who did it? Who is it? Is it you? Is it you? Anyway, I'm getting all animated. Okay. Um, it was never intended as devil worship. No way. Of course not. There was a rumor that the song was played when a fan died at a Rolling Stones gig but it was actually under my thumb. Despite that, the Stones didn't perform the song for at least five years after that incident. The lyrics were inspired by the book The Master and the Margarita, written by Mikhail Bol Bol Bolgava Bolgakov. Oh, um, apologies if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Please, please excuse the freaking political ads on every one of these pages. In this book, Devil and his gang roam around Moscow in the 1930s and play tricks on stupid slash greedy people. <laughs> That's an interesting idea for a book. So they're the the greedy people, right? Or the corrupt people that he's messing with in the first place, which almost, yeah, it's interesting. All right. Uh, according to Song Facts, this charted number 14 in the UK and number 97 in the US. The song perpetrated the image of the Stones as frightening bad boys as opposed to the clean-cut Beatles. It was great marketing for the band, who got some press by implying an interest in the occult. The occult is very interesting. The lyrics were inspired... Okay, we already read this. Um, it says that Mick Jagger's girlfriend at the time gave him the book. She came from an upper-class background and exposed him to a lot of new ideas. In the book, The Devil is a Sophisticated Socialite, a man of wealth and taste. He claims this is about the dark side of man, not a celebration of Satanism. It certainly doesn't sound like a celebration of Satanism. And... Yeah, uh, Satanism is a pretty interesting thing. That's another tangent. But they're... According to them, they're not 
there's there is no such thing as a Satanist. Like there are cults and stuff who actually worship Satan, but actual Satanism is like atheism. Like just people who are against the church, uh, and they don't believe in and they're, you know, either agnostic or just all out atheists. So it's pretty interesting. I did not know that until uh someone pointed it out to me and then i looked it up and was like oh interesting um so anyway the original title was the devil is my name um hmm yeah it's got lots of references lots of different things going on uh, Keith Richards said in 2002 Sympathy is quite an uplifting song It's just a matter of looking the devil in the face He's there all the time I've had very close contact with Lucifer I've met him several times Evil People tend to bury it and hope it sorts itself out And doesn't rear its ugly head Sympathy for the devil is just as appropriate now with 9-11 There it is again, big time When the song was written, it was a time of turmoil It was the first sort of international chaos since World War II And confusion is not the ally of peace and love Yes you want to think the world is perfect. Everyone gets sucked into that. And as America has found out, to its dismay, you cannot hide. You might as well accept the fact that evil is there and deal with it in any way you can. Sympathy for the Devil is a song that says, don't forget him. If you confront him, then he's out of a job. If you pretend he's not there, then you enable him. I added that ending. All right, the song took out on a darker meaning when, okay, a f fan was stabbed by Hell's Angels gang members hired for security. Wow. They, that's crazy. All right. Um, all right, thank you for joining me. This video has gone on for a while. Uh, I quite enjoyed the song, although near the end it got a little bit repetitive, but I also like the jam track feel at the end. Um, it definitely made me think a lot, so that was fun, and I'll uh, see you guys soon. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let me know what else by the Rolling Stones you'd like me to check out, and I'll see you all in the next video. Deathstroke 9.